Diane Guerrero is known for Orange is the New Black and Doom Patrol, but she had a tough story in life where her parents were deported. And Guerrero's story started in 1986 when she was born in Passaic, New Jersey. Guerrero's parents were immigrants from Colombia who did immigrate here legally. But while they were staying in the United States legally, they did overstay their visas and they weren't being renewed. Which is something important to know about the immigration system where over half of people who are undocumented or illegal immigrants came here legally. But the process gets very complex for people where they could be trying to renew their visa but have it expire at the same time. And while they can go back to their home country and wait the renewal process out, it's very difficult when they have things like a job, education, yes, even children. And things got very difficult for Guerrero when she was 14 years old and came home from school to find that her parents were deported. Immigration didn't leave a note for her or any information she only found out because of a neighbor. And Guerrero's parents have sadly not been in the United States for 20 years despite having employment, education, and more. And because of this, Guerrero has done immigration activism and did write a book on the topic. And return to Orange is the New Black in the final season to talk about immigration. And I don't want to get too political, when a 14-year-old's parents are arrested, there's not even a note left, there's a huge problem. 